Chapter 38, Washington, D.C., November 6, 2016, Sunday afternoon. Donald Trump is closing in fast. With just two days until the nation votes for president, Trump is now two percentage points behind Hillary Clinton, according to the Real Clear Politics polling average. The same outfit has 216 electoral votes safe for Hillary, 164 solid for Trump. 270 electoral votes are needed to win. Nevertheless, the media and the Clinton campaign, sometimes actually working together, as we saw when CNN's Donna Brazil slipped Hillary debate questions, still believe their candidate will prevail, perhaps by a large margin. The forecast from the political website, 538, gives Donald Trump a 35.7% chance to win. Hillary Clinton's chances stand at 64.2%. On television, I said that my analysis showed Mrs. Clinton fading and that she could well lose on Tuesday. I base my belief on her tepid campaign appearances and slippage in the polls. To me, Hillary Clinton was just hanging on, while Donald Trump had some momentum. Trump's voter turnout is pretty much guaranteed because his supporters are so rabid. It's hard to tell which emotion is stronger, the enthusiasm for Trump or the loathing for Hillary. On Mrs. Clinton's side, there is little emotion. She's not like you. She was never like you. Then, a knock at the proverbial door. A tall man once again is on the porch with another letter. But it's Sunday, not a time when federal employees are usually on the job. Couldn't it wait until Monday? No, it could not. James Comey is back with an additional message for congressional leadership. I write to supplement my October 28, 2016 letter that notified you the FBI would be taking additional investigative steps with respect to former Secretary of State Clinton's use of a personal email server. Based on our review, we have not changed our conclusions that we expressed in July with respect to Secretary Clinton. Wow, that was fast. Nine days. Hillary Clinton is not guilty of a crime again. But instead of joy, outrage erupts in the left-wing precincts. Senator Dianne Feinstein puts forth, Today's letter makes Director Comey's actions nine days ago even more troubling. No love for James Comey on either side. That's what you get when you blend politics with law enforcement. Donald Trump doesn't really care what James Comey says. The candidate has convicted Hillary of far worse than an email rap. Hillary Clinton is guilty, Trump tells supporters, shortly after Comey's exposition. The FBI knows it. Meanwhile, the pro-Hillary press is going into full tilt attack mode. The uber-left New Yorker magazine sums it up. There has always been a radical imbalance in measuring Clinton's email practices against Trump's raw bigotry and authoritarian-minded contempt for the rule of law. Sure, a possible national security breach by a high-profile Secretary of State could never stand up to alleged raw bigotry. The Sunday with Comey thing continues to bother me. Did Comey's FBI agents sit around on an autumn Saturday summarizing their conclusions? The actual letter is a short statement that could have been written in less than an hour. Comey's timing seems contrived to me. I could be wrong. I have no evidence. But I do know the White House was growing increasingly worried about the vote, which would be on Tuesday. Hillary already has her victory outfit picked out.